guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're here at the home base. We do so much traveling throughout the year, and it's worth it to get the footage of the cars brought to you ASAP from the different media launch events, the media first drive events, but it's nice to kind of have some time to celebrate upcoming 2024, which is right around the corner, but I also want to go through and come up with the 10 best cars, trucks, and SUVs of 2023. And for the first time ever, you want to stick around to the very end because we are choosing the best top car of 2023. Rady's Rides premier choice for 2023 car of the year. So without further ado, let's jump in because like I said, stick around to the end for car of the year for 2023. Let's get to it. And first up, we're starting with cars. The first category is sporty and fun. Definitely for me, it's got to be that 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. Great to see Ford bringing some new style, bringing some new technology, but also bringing more horsepower. I think that if I was to buy a Dark Horse, this Grabber Blue color is my favorite, and I would get the painted accents on the hood. This particular one has the handling package, so you're getting that beefy spoiler at the rear end. Nice large exhaust on the interior. They improved the uh, materials, which was great. I'm still not the biggest fan of the screens. I just wish that they were more integrated. But other than that, on the interior, how they gave you so much variety of ways to you know, get the vehicle exactly the way you want to have it tuned through the screen. Of course, with the Dark Horse, you have that Tremec six-speed manual transmission. You could also get a 10-speed auto for those that don't want to road through their own gears. But titanium shift knob, still getting the triple pedal action. Even when we see Camaro and the Dodge Challenger saying bye-bye, there's that new flat bottom steering wheel. Probably one of my favorite things. And the way the dash changes when you go through the different modes, was also a super nice touch, especially in track mode and being at Charlotte Motor Speedway. A little bit of the sound. I mean, that five-liter Coyote V8 is something really to fall in love with each and every time. And here we go on throttle. <laughs> on the banking of Charlotte Motor Speedway, definitely sporty and fun and boy just a downright driver especially if you're gonna do a track day next up we have the sedan and that goes to the Acura Integra Type S a lot of people had question marks about how good this car was gonna be especially with the Integra not exciting everybody but I think Acura really proved that they still have the performance precision all that craftsmanship into this car. I love the flared fenders. Those bronze copper wheels are absolutely mind-blowing. And just the look, I really think that this was the Integra that we wanted from the get-go, but the way that they give you that nice carbon fiber trunk lid spoiler, of course, that uh, addition of a limited slip diff, the manual transmission, and such a signature unique look. Definitely separate from the Honda Civic Type R. On the inside, you're getting a lot of great materials. The one thing that was a little bit of a zonk for me, no power passenger seats. And that infotainment system, not my favorite, but when it comes to the other appointments in the interior and how they have, like I said, that six-speed manual, I love the way that they did some nice, luxurious touches of the perforated leather. You got those short throws and the seats, I really feel like out of all the brands, Acura is one of the best where they bring that red color into the interior. Seats had extra bolstering. I would have preferred a little bit more, but really what makes this sedan of the year is that trunk space. I mean, you look at all the cargo space. And add the exhaust, like snap, crackle, pop on a Sunday morning. I think that really gives it that unique personality and uh, that's why, for sure, I had to choose it 
for this category. Uh, give me a nice white or an apex blue with those bronze wheels and uh, I'd definitely be a happy camper. Next up we have Hybrid EV. This one was easy. It goes to the E-Ray. Boy oh boy did Chevrolet do what Acura NSX started. They really took it to the next level. I love the way it's got the three inches of extra width up front of the Z06. You got different wheels and standard are carbon ceramic brake rotors. This is the first time I think in a long time where Three different individual Corvette trims, Corvette models being so specific. And the way that they really made the E-Ray stand out different from the Stingray exterior wise and different from the Z06, very, very smart. I'm glad they didn't do the quad exhaust. They kept that for the Z06. Um, the back, having those exterior vents painted Really makes a big difference. Of course, you got the 6.2 liter LT2 V8 paired with that electric motor up front. 655 horsepower, special screens on the infotainment system. Of course, you got that big divider, but that's where that small battery slots in perfectly. And remember, this is not a green initiative car. This was all about performance since day one. The interior touches are second to none on a Corvette. Especially, look at that D-shaped steering wheel. Carbon fiber, the leather, the beautiful dash. And then, of course, you have stealth mode. But then you also have the ability to really sing its glorious song. And that's definitely with the all-wheel drive. Zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. There she goes, on throttle all day long. That really was an amazing experience being out there in Colorado. Style, sound, technology, and then of course the braking capability of carbon ceramic brake rotors. Next up, of course, muscle car. We're wrapping it up. That award goes to the Ghost, the Dodge Challenger Black Ghost. Really did they do a great job taking the epitome of the original Black Ghost and bringing it for this last call special edition. Remember, they're only making 300 of these. And if you look at and bring a trailer or any other website where they're having car auctions, these things are going for well over $150,000. Getting it in pitch black with that white stripe on the tail, very unique to the Black Ghost. And then of course, the way they did the roof to make it sort of simulate that alligator skin roof vinyl that they used back in 1970. Nobody's going to argue with that supercharged V8, 807 horsepower, the fine little touches that they do on the interior. I know the infotainment system is old, but guess what? You got the performance pages, the Torque Flight 8-speed automatic, the carbon fiber trim, that's real carbon fiber trim, Alcantara steering wheel. You could go through the 8-speed with the paddles, even has electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel, and really still love the data. There we go, smoke them if you got them. I think it's gonna happen, fingers crossed. There we go. <laughs> That's why it's muscle car of the year right now. Now we're into the SUVs. When it comes to value, I don't know how the hell you could argue with this Crosstrek Wilderness Edition. First time ever, really gives it such a beefy appearance to the Crosstrek. Over nine inches of ground clearance. LED lighting done nicely with those fog lamps. You got skid plate protection. And you're looking at an MSRP, $31,000. That's a lot of car for the money, especially in today's market. I think when it comes to the Wilderness Editions, that extra cladding works. On a WRX, no, 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 no. On a Wilderness Edition, extra cladding works. I love the rear bumper. They really shaped it for those departure angles. And then, of course, I love dogs. Subaru loves dogs. So they're going to give you plenty of dog-friendly capacity in that cargo area. Definitely get your Huskies in there. Or if you have a gaggle of chihuahuas, you could easily fit them all. Infotainment system, 
not my favorite, but I have seen worse. And I do like the way it's integrated. That probably is my favorite part about it. And of course, you're gonna get things like dual climate control, steering wheel, simple. I just need the flat black buttons. You have the paddles to go through the simulated gears. Same thing with the dash. I don't need a full digital dash on every single car that they make. And then, like I said, the way that this thing drives, very comfy, very confident, inspiring, but also just fun. And you have that full-time all-wheel drive that Subaru is known for. Here we are off-roading. Of course, really we got the Radies Rides off-road test track. That sugar sand can get some vehicles very stuck. But because to, uh, of the full-time really all-wheel drive, she stays planned. Now, performance SUV might surprise you. I'm going with this Tahoe, Chevy Tahoe RST performance package. This pretty much is a police edition without having the lights and the computer inside. So you're getting the police brakes, the calipers, the suspension, special wheels. And it's just mind blowing how this large SUV, especially in radiant red, that's gotta be one of my favorite colors that Chevy produces with the quad tip GM performance exhaust lets that naturally aspirated V8 sing so nicely. I love the way they put that performance air box on there where you have that see-through cover and you can see the Canon filter. Cameras on any Chevy, especially this Tahoe, are phenomenal. And then, of course, everything is just laid out very, very nicely. Seats, the storage space, but then when you go to haul, not only do you haul people and your things, you also haul buttons. Plus you got the screens where like you can see, you can watch Radies rides while your driver's going on throttle and you have a ton of cargo space. And remember a full size SUV, if you need three rows, this is the way to do it. You hear that sound? That's what I dream of. That's what I hear when every single time. A nice Radies 6.2 liter V8. Very surprising how the car handled. Very, very flat in the corners. Not a lot of body roll. Like I said, police spec. Next up we have best family SUV. It's gotta go to the CX-90. I absolutely am in love with the style of this vehicle, the way they did the colors, the grill area just, Mazda really has elevated themselves to this luxury spec without going crazy. I mean, if this was a German Euro midsize three row SUV, it'd be well over $80,000, $90,000. And this one fully loaded at 60. To me, in today's auto industry and the car world, that price is actually pretty competitive. You do get all the fine titches, uh, stitching and touches on the interior. You have that nice large 12.3 inch screen. Yes, it's not a touch screen, but I like using the direct drive control knob and that digital gauge cluster and the way they did the two-tone in this particular one, Really, really nicely done. Straight six, turbocharged power with all-wheel drive. Third row is a little small, but remember, most mid-size SUVs, that's what you're gonna get unless you step up to full size. But I'm telling you, for the price, this one really, I feel, is perfect for the family. You got plenty of go, so if mom or dad wants to go quick and go on throttle, you have that, you have great style. So if mom or dad has to pick you up at school, you're not embarrassed when your friends are hanging out, your friends are gonna freaking drop their jaw. And then when the road gets twisty, you can have some fun because guess what? Even though Mazda won't admit it, they are still about Zoom Zoom. And I'm very happy about that. And then finally, luxury SUV. I tell you, hands down, if I was gonna buy a luxury SUV, it's gonna be this one right here. GMC Yukon Denali Ultimate. I love the style. The wheels are spectacular. You'll notice there's not a bunch of flat black all over the place. Of course, you're gonna have special LED lighting, those automatic dropping running boards. It just, to me, it almost makes me say, don't even go Escalade. Go Denali Ultimate. You're gonna pay a little bit less, but you're getting just as much luxurious touches. The screen, I don't need 38 inches of screen, guys. I love the way this one's nicely integrated. The wood, everything looks tasteful. Everything feels high quality. And when you're driving it, I feel good. You feel good when you're behind the wheel. 
all the great storage spaces, the fine touches. You have real knobs and buttons. And I really think GM is so smart for designing that sliding center console. Look at the seats with the Bose sound system right in the speakers. The leather, the piping, two-tone material, contrast stitching, massage seats. Nice big digital gauge cluster. And you have the entertainment all wireless on the back. And then to get in that third row, easy as pumpkin pie. It's as easy as eating a piece of pumpkin pie. And then you can see you sit normal. You feel good. And you have all that storage capacity. A BMW X7 does not even come close to this. No way Jose or anybody else for that matter. Love the way it's got the power folding rear seats. And then you got the with that staggered tipping car. I'm telling you, you need to get to the head of that uh, car pickup line. This is gonna get you there fast, I the driving down the road, quiet on getting the interior. massaged, this thing having the digital is even rear more view mirror, so, and that's with everything the laid out wheels. so clean. That is definitely it. Now we're on to trucks. The best everyday truck has gotta be the Toyota Tacoma 2024 redesigned Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. This one with the manual transmission. I really think that from a styling standpoint, they did a great job evolving what the Tacoma is about for the first time ever. We have on model year 2024, rear disc brakes. So they got rid of the drums. Yes, I know many people are complaining about no V6, but I'm telling you, wait until you drive it. For especially a daily driving truck, it drives so nicely, it's gonna blow your mind. You're gonna think you're in some type of crossover because of how well it drives. The interior, you're getting nice large infotainment system with the new Toyota multimedia software. You got all the switches and buttons. That's what I'm very happy to see. I don't need everything in a screen. I actually hate when everything's in a screen. And then for a manual transmission in a truck, uh, there's not a lot of choices out there. The clutch was nice and light, crisp engagement. It wasn't like an on-off switch. You do get a digital gauge cluster. Really, really think that this is going to be the mid-size truck to buy when you look at all of the competition. And remember, mid-size class was revamped. All of them except for the Nissan Frontier. And then when you need to get a little bit of the go-go juice and go on throttle, you can Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport and feel good and you'll look good. And you have more torque than the V6. And like I said, a manual transmission plus I like the way they painted the fender flares. Look at that, gives it a nice, clean, muscular look. Next, performance truck vehicle of the year when it comes to ultimate, has gotta be this one, the GMC 2500 HD AT4X AEV edition. Yes, it's a mouthful, but I'm telling you right now, this truck is a mouthful, a mouthful of off-road performance, stamp steel, front and rear bumpers. We're talking about extra lift over any other heavy duty truck that Sierra branded. We got special wheels with those 35 inch tires, automatic dropping running boards, and enough torque to where you could pull your neighbor's house right off the freaking foundation. Of course, you have that multi-flex tailgate where you could drop it down, turn it into a step, turn it into a holder, turn it into this. It's got speakers built into, I mean, it's really so versatile that it's crazy that other manufacturers haven't tried to figure out a way to make a multifunctional tailgate like this. Yes, some have doors where they open like a barn or you could fold it down and then do other things with it, but nobody's doing it like this. And having the sound system, of course, all of the nice touches on the interior storage for Twinkies for days. So you could stack up the Twinkies and get them locked and loaded in here for your next drive. Love the way the screen's integrated, real buttons, real knobs, wireless charging. It's got so much ventilated seats, the heated seats, the leather on the armrests, and the way that the truck is so solid underneath you. And I would have thought, trust me, I said, when I was sitting behind the wheel, and that's a good looking wheel, I said to myself, they gotta be nuts to make an off-road heavy duty truck. It's not a small truck, but when you're behind the wheel and you're going off-roading, it doesn't feel so big. And I love the way GMC is the one that came up with those hidden compartments 
built into the back of the seats. You need more room, you lift up the rear seats, tons of storage space, tons of room for people and for everybody else. And then of course that Duramax turbo diesel engine. Love the torque to get a 10 speed automatic transmission, two speed transfer case, locking rear diff. I mean, this thing, it's like you don't need to go down to a truck store to up spec the current truck that you have. This thing is ready to rock and roll. And you can see we're going through the sippy hole. I love the sippy yeah. hole. It's a great test we go. Going right for right this truck. Going. And Bye, you can see, here, here we go. go. Through the sippy hole. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Right through Turn anything. And this thing is massive, but it doesn't here. feel massive. Then da da! It's that time. Rady's Rides Car of the Year. The 2024 Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Oh, what can I say enough about this car? I mean, the fact that this is a production car you could drive on the road, but yet turns times on racetracks as fast as a GT3 cup car, race car. So what you have, of course, all that carbon fiber, carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber fenders, carbon fiber doors, carbon fiber roof, carbon fiber rear wing. It has the first ever center Radiator, single center radiator taken right off the 911 RSR race car. You got magnesium wheels, those massive Brembo calipers, of course, six piston calipers, Michelin Cup 2R tires, active aero underneath the car, those beautiful fender vents where air is going to exit out to keep the downforce just right. Look at the way they carve the side of the fender and the door to allow that air to flow down the side. And remember, carbon fiber doors, the whole door. The way that this one is specced, I absolutely love it, especially with the carbon fiber mirrors, the little carbon fiber triangles right where the windows are. There's that beautiful roof, the guides that take the cool air right back to the engine compartment. And then of course the side vents, which isn't for the engine, it's for dragging the air out the back of the vehicle. You have an electronic limited slip diff, those real beefy tires out back, 315s. And then of course, you can see where the air goes into that four liter flat six, over 500 horsepower, swan neck, rear wing with active aero. They can't even run that on the freaking race car. You have it on this GT3 RS. Love the way it's got the dual exhaust slash cut. You open that carbon fiber hood. There's no trunk. This is like a freaking race car. You just see carbon fiber galore and that single radiator. And then on the interior, this one is spec. It's the y sock package. That's the lighter package. So you're going to get carbon fiber, race text material, nice toggle switches for the front end lift, the PASM suspension controls. Yes, there's some gloss black around the shifter and it still bothers me, but I'm willing to suck it up to get behind the wheel of this car. Love the carbon fiber buckets single one piece carbon fiber. Once you get in, they're great. This one's a Euro spec, so it had the carbon fiber um, rear cage and then the steering wheel. First car ever to where you could actually change suspension, compression and rebound damping while you're driving or change the way the rear diff locks. This is, like I said, stuff that is only available on race cars. Magnesium paddles, that nice tack in the center, 9,000 RPM, and I got to drive it at Thermal Club in California. That had to be the experience of 2023 for me, and that makes it even more credible of this great ride car of 2023. Absolutely amazing, the sound of that flat six, six throttle bodies. Listen, it's amazing. Things like these that I have loved throughout the whole year. Let me know what you think about my choices. Are you happy with them? Are you not happy? Hey, I like honesty. I can take your input. What did I leave out? Put it in the comment section. But I'm looking forward to 2024. It's going to be an amazing year. More of this on throttle excitement. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise it's worthwhile. Come back for more. Our subscriber, thank you for being part of the Razor Reds family. Of course, we need to thank LG Rady setting up the whole scene, making the magic happen. Thank you, Lori. Just like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.